So now it's officially Christmas time. What a better way to talk about three times that I actually almost died. So to the first story, there's already a small side fact to know. I was supposed to be born mid-October, but I was actually born on the 1st of November. So already something was going on wrong. Actually, while I was still in there, I put the umbilical cord. I had to translate that. Um, I put that two times um, around my 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 throat, you know, and you know, I I almost choked myself to death before actually being born. That's uh, yeah, that's quite unfortunate, if you ask me. I don't know what happened that I don't know. I survived this, but well. I exist, so I guess I somehow survived then. So to the second story, that was actually when I was with my aunt and my uncle. Um, I used to be there a lot when I was a kid. They had like a garden, and they had like a like a hole in their garden where um, there was water inside. I don't know why they had that. Probably for some good reason, maybe because of rain or something. I really don't know. But anyways, there was this hole in the garden filled with a lot of water and it's it was really deep you could like if you would fall in there you would probably drown or something so because of course they did think about that they put like a small um like cover around that but me as like a like a six year old i i wanted to test if it's actually working <laughs> If, if you could somehow manage to, well, step on that and it would like flop over and you could still fall in there. And, well, seems like, um, actually it did not work. So I actually fell in there <laughs> when I was like a little fucker. I was like, like seven or something like that. So if I would have fallen, if I, I if I would have actually get in there, I, I probably would have drowned or it would have been very 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 dangerous because it was really deep and I was really small but then Ashley um, out of clutch my cousin was luckily <laughs> right next to me and he grabbed my leg while I was literally falling um, with my head first in there straight into the water into like a fucking hole <laughs> filled with water he grabbed my leg so I could survive like, I'd, I, maybe they could have saved me, but it would have been very dangerous. So, well, I'm I'm lucky that my cousin was literally right next to me, because I don't know what would have happened. But anyways, to the next story. Um, that was actually kind of a new story. That was actually three years ago. So, some of us are sometimes a bit not really careful when it comes to, like, cars. Or, like, I don't want to say, like, most of us, but some people are and um, I'm usually really careful when it comes to like of course traffic and not getting run over by a car I was in a in a graphic design Internship or education however you want to call it and there was like a bus stop where there was the street and uh, I had to get out of the bus at some part, you know, because I want to uh, to walk to uh, another street and when I get out of the bus I could not see like the car on the street because like the bus was like blocking the side to actually see if a car was coming. So you you had to be really careful um, and like slightly like peek around the bus to see if a car is actually coming. And I always did that, but on one day I was like, ah oh, fuck it, there is never a car coming, but. Actually, there was a car coming, and yeah, I I walked, I literally casually walked, listening to XXX Tentacion, like nothing could happen, and there was like a like a big car. Probably I would have died if he would have not stopped. This guy actually reacted and stopped. So yeah, that guy actually saved my life from being dumb. And yeah, that would have been very dangerous. I think I would have not survived that. But yeah, well, anyways, I did survive that. And uh, well, that were three, <laughs> three little stories on how I almost died. Mostly because of stupidity. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that small um, story time. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.